Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Spiffing Brit, and today I am exploring the fantastic world of Skyrim as we dive into the true vision of Todd Howard and his fantastical AAA monstrosity of a game. But today, with a slight twist, as you might notice, this background here might be straying a little bit away from Todd Howard's original vision, but that was simply due to design constraints. Everything you'll be seeing here in today's video is something Todd Howard wanted. He dreamed about when he was working and grinding in that chess club. He dreamed about the wonders of what this game could become. And so today, ladies and gentlemen, I am joined by the fantastical Sorrow TV, where we adventure and see some of the stranger sides of Skyrim. Sorrow, how are you on this fine day? I'm doing just wonderfully, Mr. Spiff and yourself. Oh my goodness, I am absolutely fantastic myself. When was the last time you played Skyrim, Sorrow? The last time I played Skyrim was probably a month ago. A month ago, wow. Well, you see, that makes Todd Howard very sad. Todd Howard created a game which honestly can be played on the go in VR. There is honestly no excuse for not playing uh, Skyrim unless maybe you're driving, but even now you can buy a Tesla and then you could probably play Skyrim at the same time. I, I would only just argue that mod support in the Teslas is so-so. It's a dead community. I'm gonna just say what everybody's thinking. <laughs> the Tesla game development modding community, not the hottest right now. Yeah, they got rid of Steam Workshop support. I mean, that's like <laughs> suicide nowadays. That's crazy. To Most people now just duck taping Nintendo Switches to the front of their Teslas to cope with it. That's how dire the situation has gotten. Are you ready, Sorrow, for what we're gonna make? I cannot make that promise, but I'm open-minded. Okay. There, I have made a few modifications to the game, very minor ones. As you mentioned yourself, you don't like a blaring uh, kind of disparity between the original Skyrim and maybe something completely wacky. I do believe this unicorn here with the cat and the golden desert eagle, that's about as wild as you're going to be seeing. Oh, Nothing... I was gonna say you were on point about this being Todd's original vision. I feel he like... He was upset. They had budget constraints. They were pressed for time. They had to get this game out. It's why there's only like four voice actors in the whole thing. Yes. I mean, the shareholders were like, Todd, look, okay, you haven't released a game in quite a while. We're gonna need it out and we're gonna need it out now. And that's why Todd couldn't even release these HD remastered 4K images for the main menu. It's devastating. Very devastating. Right. Are you ready for this? Uh, I, I need you to genuinely be braced for what's happening, Sorry. I'm braced. I got my seatbelt on. Okay, let's go start a new game. There we go. Oh, and we're in the game. There we go. Oh, that was there very good. The totally normal game with totally normal slide. Yes, so um, I'm using a couple of extra little modifiers here today to give us a bit of a creative freedom. So this is basically what Todd Howard wanted. He wanted a bit more creative freedom when it came to actually making your character instead of just having five different presets and all of the generic Nord looking men look all the same generic Nordy. So we have a couple of in options. Uh, oblivion character maker screech. Oh gosh, oblivion character creation. What a thing. Those are those Argonians though. Oh, I mean oh, let, let's compare like these snack. Argonians. These Argonians and then Oblivion Argonians. Oh, you could even compare these Bretons to uh, the Bretons that I, if I recall, <laughs> looked like literal just muffins back in the day. <laughs> they mean, just kind of looked like muffin men. What about this Breton here? This Breton here looks like he may or may not stab you. It looks like Todd Howard. Oh no, this is Todd Howard upon like the following release day of Fallout 76. Like his life force was drained. Yes, anyway. Pick in a race. We're pick in a, race. a race. We do have this option here. Smooth skin boy. Like a very smooth. Holy sh**. He is as smooth as you can get. He is so smooth. If we're aiming for Uncanny Valley, I don't think there's anything closer. Wow! I mean, he just, there's something about him that just looks really off. You look switch at this person. Back to the, switch back to our Breton boy. So we have Breton boy here. So this is, this is normal Skyrim. Okay. <laughs> and then we have this. <laughs> Hello. I am human. Modified Skyrim. I mean, we also have wood elves and, you know, red guards and orcs and Nords, Khajiit, High Elves, but of course we have Yugnords. Yugnords, best Nords. So, would you like to work off of our slightly creepy off putting Yugnord here today? I think we do. This is our like fresh human out of the vat. Like, <laughs> my skin has been ironed to maximum smoothness. Maximum there is no smooth. smoother being than smooth, I. Smooth eye, yes. I feel like he's escaped from the Fallout universe and this is the original synth that they created and Todd has just kind of like teleported him into Skyrim or maybe actually well yeah not the original synth I mean if we were talking that we'd be 
dealing with like a battle droid. <laughs> That's dude, a good point. Which yeah. would be amazing. Well, maybe this is just actually where all of the um, Skyrim money went. I mean, it certainly didn't go into Fallout 76. So maybe all of the Skyrim money went into human vac cloning. And this is the first creation. I mean, I think it went into game cloning. Am I right? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Right, so would you like to start modifying our sweet child here? Of course. I mean, we have a few presets. We have oh, sex. Oh, good God. Oh, oh, okay. That set, uh, apparently we're now behind a wood beam. Give me a second. There we go. I think we are a wood beam. We are the wood beam now. Apparently changing. Oh, whoa, whoa, hey, ho. <laughs> Don't worry, we're back. We're back. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh, um, hello. Oh, <laughs> um, I mean, the, you say uh, hello. Hello, receding hairline there. <laughs> Never meet a girl with a hairline like pal and a neck like Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is one of those people that from a distance you're like, oh, wow, they're, they're just quite a normal, nice looking human being. And then you get close and this. You go, when did we get a new lady in town? And you're like, oh, no. Oh, when no. Was there? That's the skeleton with some hair left. Yes. Talk it's... about someone from the Fallout universe <laughs> wearing this potato sack with this ghoul. Hey, smooth skin. <laughs> you have hey, the smooth, smooth skin. skin. <laughs> we already are the smooth skin. We're smooth skin. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, so do you want whammon or, or male? I mean, male was a lot less... This is less Uncanny Valley and more just... <laughs> Okay, so this is um this is our dude, our lovely sweet dude. Um, I mean we can mess about with presets, but presets they're just not that exciting. I'm already pretty emotionally attached to our starting point. Oh my goodness, you can change your skin color. Oh my goodness, wow. Oh look at that gorgeous tan. He he can copper, really tan. This copper child. What about this one right here where he looks vaguely ill constantly? It looks like it's, he's running yeah, a high fever. He does. He's trying to stay home from young Nord school. <laughs> ignored school oh no um so do we want just like dumped a can of vegetable soup into the toilet <laughs> <laughs> i feel like the more we go white the brighter he gets like to the to the right well he, the more nordy he gets as he well. does get really nord like how how That's nord is nord. this this is so nord i'm getting a reflection that is blinding me in the real world just like snow a true nord a true Nord. So, do you feel like this is the correct skin color for us today? I think it is. We gotta go the most reflect. <laughs> <laughs> he's like a he's a he's a shining light he's a beacon a beaming a boy a sweet a beaming, beaming boy. boy our beaming boy oh our smiling beaming boy you know what he looks like he'd be called ben and we could call him like benny the beaming boy i mean just look at him big ben the big, beacon of hope big ben the beacon of hope who beams like a good beamy boy oh now we need to decide his weight like are we are we feeling chunky or well, are we can feeling we give him like some nice rosy cheeks as well oh rosy cheeks um so i think that be complexion. The, this, um, but yeah, should he be a beefy boy? That, that doesn't or really he be skinny, and it's an ironic name. I I feel like the complexion slider oh, yeah, is not Christ, giving rosy cheeks. Is, he is not a smooth skin anymore. Uh, but I want to keep him smooth. If I'm honest, I feel like the smoother oh, no, the better. He's a, it's his whole point. He has to be as smooth as possible. That's so, the only game he's got. <laughs> he's got no personality. He's only got his smooth, smooth. Skin. His his first pickup line when he meets new people to make friends with them is not like "Hi, I'm Ben." It's just Hey, I'm smooth. He doesn't even say a word, just grabs your hand and brushes it across his face. <laughs> it's just like does a knowing glance of, you know how smooth I feel. You know. Uh, I feel like we should make him quite thin. I feel like he'd be a spindly smooth boy because a bit big and I feel like then he's just like mounds of smoothness. What do you feel? Yeah, we'll make him skinny and Big Ben will be an ironic. Big Ben. That, wow, he really has just transformed into a tiny, tiny child. Oh my. I'm not a big fan of his neck. It's really Whoa. smooth. It, this seems fine. I feel like we don't want to add dirt or scars because I feel like they'd retract. Or maybe like just one scar, like um, and that's that's I just mean, the one thing reason too. Shaving. Eventually, you'd get a scar. Something I, that looks like a little tiny shaving scar somewhere. I feel like if I feel like uh, for such a smooth his boy. Smoothness. I hate what, it. I what about? Hate it. <laughs> We're desecrating a holy land. The holy land of smooth. How's that? It's just a nice little couple of couple of light cuts. I feel like. Dude, he up. He really did. I feel That's like maybe that was his bad shaving mistake. It was his first time shaving, and he really got really upset after that. And honestly, I feel like maybe it caused a bit of PTSD for him because he he loves the fact of how smooth he is. He just can't come to terms he's with constantly the reminded part. of his of his fatal error. Maybe he's on a quest to smooth himself up, like to rid himself Whoa. of these scars. 
Wow. It's so deep. I love it. We've got a backstory, baby. We got the backstory going now. Yes. No war paint. That um I feel like that removes from the smooth. War paint has <laughs> texture. It adds too much texture. It adds a layer of paint. Now what about the hair? <gasps> Look at this sweet boy! My goodness! Um, oh, yeah, it really younged him, it aged him down. Yes. More hair for some, and made him look oh. less like a middle-aged lesbian woman. <laughs> with a really short cut. What yeah, about... See, we're riding the line there. I feel like this one's a quite close here. line for Ben. It's, he lives quite an amb ambiguous lifestyle. Oh, that adds more to the ambiguity. This, um, uh, I feel like Ben is Ben's oddly attractive. the constant shaving? We don't know. Maybe. Ben's a, he's a pretty boy. He's, He's a pretty boy. Like, let's face that. This hairstyle here, I feel like we've actually made, um, you know the American football, like, I say football, your version of soccer, your football captain, honestly looks quite similar to this, if I'm honest. Wait, 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 wait. Are you talking about American football or soccer? I'm Just because I know about... everyone calls it football, but like, yeah, I, I like, want to be understanding of that. Oh, God. Um, I would Which say... Which one did you mean? I meant, I meant soccer. So, okay. UK so, football. I, I'm sorry to make you say that, but just for my own understanding. Okay, we got a soccer coach here. Soccer yeah, indeed. I can see that. I can see a, that. A kid's, a kid's soccer coach. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I feel like we are making something like that, but um, there's so many more hair options to go through. It's like, a little too, I think that's too active for our, our boy, Ben. I think he spends powerful, so much yeah. time grooming. Yeah, I feel that's like... A, that's a power <laughs> move. What about, a, this, yeah. what about this where he's tried to smooth himself almost a bit too much? and has turned himself into an egg. <laughs> He buffed the top of his hair off. Just, I must that's make the, it shine. Yeah, that's, the, that's the Danny DeVito look. Everything must be smooth. Oh, I God. I smooth out my face. <laughs> oh, God. I don't Should feel like... completely bald? Uh, there's no, like, perfect completely bald. This is oh, about yeah, as close as you can Oh, yeah, that's not get. smooth. Yeah, he wouldn't have stubble. He just doesn't strike me as the kind of person to have that. So I feel like maybe we need to go to an actual... Oh, oh. It's close, but again, they're both stubbly. They, are, they do have a bit of hair going on. Oh? Yeah, yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Yep, suddenly our sweet boy is transformed. Wait, what was that one that's really just thinning? Oh, wow, it's also really thin on the top. I feel like this is good because he's on his quest for smoothness. Oh, it's part the of that monk. Is... It's like the monk cut. Yes. Just a big bald spot. Yeah. Okay, so he's horrified by his hair and his skull. But it, it, it's all, it's still like kind of there. It's still hanging on. He's not perfect yet, but he really wants to be. Now what it's, we've got to do is our eye shape. Um, we don't really have many options here. Oh, that's it. Oh, oh. Just um, like 20 sliders for this one thing. Yeah, I mean. Holy he, crap. Yeah, yeah. I feel like now you'd those find him in some, Area 51. No, he looks, those are some straight up like Twilight Princess Link <laughs> eyes. I have a question for you, traveler. <laughs> potion seller. I require your strongest potions. Potions. Uh, oh, goodness. These eyes don't actually fit his head. Number 23 eye yeah, was not designed for I him. I liked, uh, oh, yikes. Yeah, some of these are not kind with the the race we've chosen. Ooh. I like I like any of the dead eyes. Any of just the sort of flat. So something like this, number 39, where he's just really vacant. I do really like vacant. digging 39. 39 is looking really good. And of course we can change the eye color. I'm guessing we want something quite vacant. Not really um... <laughs> Oh, he's so smooth, but he's, he's so stoned. He's, he's just, he's been staying up late every night trying to, um, trying to grind his smoothness. And that's what's happening here. Trying to desperately scrub his hair follicles. I must be smoother. Up. He never sleeps. He never sleeps. In he his quest sleeps. for smoothness. His quest for smooth. Oh my, uh, you're going to see it in a second on your screen, but, um. Yeah, that is, that's, um, that is certainly a choice. Don't feel like we can. I feel like the last option, 23. That feels like it's quite a natural color for him. That looks quite decent. It looks nice, yeah. He's not going to be constantly sleep deprived or anything. Now is when things are going to get a bit weird. We have the eye height slider. Now, um, we can take it low and we can take it we can take it rather high. I feel like the higher we go, the older he looks. Now, it, the maximum height, he kind of looks like an accountant. I feel like we want to take it down. But the higher the eyes, the bigger the nose looks. That is a good I think point. If we, I think if we go medium height, 
but ca oh no we just went like uncomfortably low for a second too long but i think if we get a somewhat normal height normal height okay big 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 eyes okay so we can take him to the side or we can put him in the middle do you want do you want the eyes escaping the nose or you know just try to be i like the spaced the out sort of alita battle angel kind of oh perfect yeah i'm getting that vibe too that's good and then i'm feeling like how how deep do you want the eyes in the head do you want the eyes going into the head or do you want to try and to escape the eyebrows what what's kind of escape well, yeah. yeah remember like five ten minutes ago when we said we were gonna make him a somewhat good looking dude well he, he looks like a somewhat normal looking human being he just looks ever so slightly he looks off. like he looks like a man on a quest he does a quest to lose his hair and to change his, his entire appearance smooth me brow type though we need to have some eyebrows <sighs> Maybe um, this is the option. Oh, are we going super smooth? <laughs> super smooth. Just He's no in a eyebrows. He's for his brows. I, he doesn't need brows. He's just reached the point where brows are no longer viable. I mean, like, you can have great big bushy boys, like number one over here, but I feel like. <sighs> We either go bush or we go super smooth. How about how about this one here? Number or maybe something just really thin, like a really subtle eyebrow, like number thirteen. I was gonna say a very a very tweezed brow. Yeah, like number thirteen. It looks very well manicured, like to the point where Ben wants to look like a normal human being, but not to the point where he has to retract from his smoothness. He overdoes it too. Like he. It's in his quest for perfection. Unfortunately, like many young women and women in today's society, they think they changing their appearance which... is what is what we're forcing them to do, and it's, it breaks my heart to see young women and young men like Ben here <laughs> tweeze their eyebrows away to almost non-existence. Oh, it's just, just to the... draw them back on. Ben, you're beautiful just the way you are. He's so we're gonna already. keep changing your actual <laughs> bone structure for a bit. Harsh, but yes, true. So do we want low eyebrows or high eyebrows? I feel like quite, you want them kind of close to the eyes, but not too close. Yeah, the, he, he almost makes it work. I feel like I like that he work. almost makes these little eyebrows work. Yep. Yeah, I feel like the closer they are to the eyes, the more almost to terms he is with them because, you know, they're close to an object which isn't smooth like the eyes. They kind of bring his eyes back towards his face. They're like little lassos. Yeah, them right where they're, they're the only things pinning him down, really. Oh, and we can widen them. Oh. Okay. No, yeah, forget yeah. what I just said. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's the eyebrows themselves can uh, create little nubbins of flesh there to the side. I feel like the eyebrows wouldn't do that. They wouldn't really add um, We'd anything. We'd be losing the heart and soul of our sweet boy. Yeah, it would retract from smoothness because it would add a bit of a bump. I think is the issue. And now... Ooh. Yeah, it looked like he would have... He'd be trying to have devil horns put in. Now we have brow forwards or backwards. Um, I feel like backwards works here as well. So it that... sounds like a command someone would say in like a spaceship. <laughs> brow forward! Bring the brow forwards! <laughs> and they're like, Aye, aye, Captain! And then you just see Ben's eyebrows go... <laughs> Raise eyebrows to 0 0.9. <laughs> eyebrows are 0 0.9, 9 Captain. Degrees. <laughs> Retract eyebrows to minus one. Up periscope. <laughs> oh, now nose type. Okay. Um, there's a lot of noses. Now we're now we're. Oh the my! Number six is a powerful nose. My. As long as it's a smooth nose, I am content. I... That is the nose of a spell. Caster. Number seven's nose is powerful. Number eight is quite big. Nine. Okay. I'm gonna just see what the so many of is. these noses come with so much attitude. <laughs> I feel like yeah, they kind of almost add to the character. I feel like he wouldn't have a bumpy nose like um, nose number twenty one. Some of these are here. remarkably large. I don't I mean, know if they all just quite the proportions big. or what, but oh god, that's like our uh, it's like an orc captain would have that nose. Yeah, we can't have that because it adds too much texture to his nose. He wouldn't really have that like right crazy that's not bump. smooth that's not smooth oh these all have like a weird what extra ridge oh wait that one was smooth uh, that? Uh, oh, oh, hey. <laughs> oh that's not smooth that's abort not smooth not smooth oh i don't know what to think <laughs> i i only oh. hear like uh that teeth chattering oh. sound effect <laughs> I mean, one of those is, I will say, extremely smooth. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. There's that bald head we were looking for. I just, least. I don't understand how changing the nose type makes his teeth leave his, his head. <laughs> 
What is going on? Oh, well, I feel like this is the one here. Number 34. It's the one which doesn't have his head going up, which is a good sign. <laughs> um, that little back, the little <laughs> departure. And also the fact that the head goes up, but the hair doesn't follow it. Like the ears and mm -hmm. neck are going, but the hair is, hair's not having any of it. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Nightmare fuel. The nose doesn't even change. The nose isn't changing between any of these. All that's changing is the eyes. Like if we wanted to get rid of the eyebrows <laughs> and the eyelashes, we can just do that. And then we create this. And the color. <laughs> concept of lips entirely. Oh, right, I think 34 is the one for us. It's quite a smooth looking normal nose. I think that's good. I agree. Now, nose height or nose down. Nose up or nose down. I feel like it can be quite... Yeah, we don't need like a little piggy boy. I feel like maybe we'll just do... a little bit lower than normal, but not too low. A little, yeah, a little under the a little under sea level. Yes. Fan. Yes, that's where his nose is. I mean, it means he can't breathe because he's just only breathing water, but you know, it's fine. Now we have nose length, which I think is to do with the, yeah, how far you want it pointing out. I'm guessing his nose wouldn't really point out that much as it kind of retracts and we'll, smooth. We'll do, we'll bring that in a little bit as well, because I yeah. was going to say he's not pointy. He's, he's not smooth. pointy. He's smooth. Right, jaw width <laughs> Finger <now>. guns. <gasps> he's smooth. He's smooth. Now, this is where the jaw can be altered. I feel like if we go more to the right, he kind of becomes more egg-like and he smooths out. Whereas if we take it all the way to the left, his chin kind of juts out a bit. Whereas I feel like going to the right, we smooth him. Smooth him well, quite we well. We also made him the most skinny. So we it might be did, a little yes. disproportional. Good point. I feel like maybe we should retract that in. Uh, maybe not just that much. Just bring in them chubby, chubby cheeks. Just bring in just a little bit. And now jaw height. Do you want the jaws uh, inside or do you want the jaws outside, basically? We've already seen what the jaw on the outside looked like. I'm not a fan. I feel like we can probably skip past a few of these. I mean, we've got things like nose color we can edit. You just want to give him a nice little big brown nose, a little bit of a tan nose. Like a little red nose. A oh, red yeah, nose. no, literally just I mean, a different, kind of just giving him a different race of nose because they're literally the same colors as the race options. Oh, oh man, go. If you want a, we if you can want a really red go nose. different nose. We can really go full red nose if that's what you're looking for. Good old oh, Rudolph. Oh, but see, now he's so sick. Yeah, he's too ill. I feel like we should keep him on nice and smooth. Oh, forehead color. Mouth shape now. This is where we're getting to the good stuff. Okay. Mouth shape. Let's okay. smooth it out. Let's iron him out. So are you saying you want nice, big, smooth lips, maybe? Big. Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm I mean, noticing. it's a little weird when you put it that way. But... Yeah. I feel like these are quite, quite good lips. Maybe. There we go. What about this one here, number 17? They're quite big. They're not too big. And they kind of add to his character. Actually, no, they are probably like as big it. as you can get. Uh, um, they're solid. <laughs> Good, we could say he's a big talker. That's why, so, like, he hates that- oh, no. No, yeah, yeah, you see it now. He probably hates how much attention gets drawn to the scars because of his big old mouth. I mean, if, if you put the lips down, it kind of hides the scars a bit. They kind of compress up, they pushed underneath the lips themselves. I mean, Are you yeah. telling me that would not draw all of the attention right there? Like, his lips are not the weirdest part of this I'll, face? I'll put him a little bit lower, but not too low. How's that? And then, oh, we could have him, oh, look at this. Mwah. It's like the more. <laughs> oh, this is sweet. <sighs> He has never Just kissed anybody, ever. Never. Never, ever, ever. But he practices that in a mirror. Ah, oh, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Spiffin' Brit, and I'm afraid this is actually where the video ends. At this point, myself and Sora actually just end the recording session there. We go and play some Minecraft for a couple of hours accidentally on stream, and it was actually a very fun and good experience. However, there is so far not an ending to this fantastic Skyrim adventure which you've been watching today. If you would love to see an ending, then make sure to tell both myself and I, Sora, and the best way to do that is to hop down into the comment section, and also to absolutely smash that button not only sideways, upways, backwards, and forwards, but just using the little mouse clicker which you have, yes. And I'll say, if this video manages to reach an astounding 30,000 likes, I will grab Sorrow TV and I will place him down into my basement and record fantastic videos with him all day long. And he'll have absolutely no say, because I'll hold his hamster hostage. That's right, Sorrow. Basically, I just need this video to pay for the air ticket to go to America to see your Sorrow TV's hamster and then to fly back. And then we can get the recording underway. Oh yes, Hammy Ham will be mine. Oh yes, he will be mine. 
But I did actually absolutely love recording this video today. Sorry TV is such an absolutely fun and fantastic gentleman to record with. I hope you really enjoyed watching today. We had a fantastic time editing it, and if this is the kind of content you want to see more of, then please do give us a shout, because this kind of stuff is a little bit different to what's normally on the channel, but by goodness do we enjoy making it. Anyway, I've been the Spiffing Brit, and I will see all of you in the next one. As always, a huge thank you to each and every single one of my majestic patrons who make these silly things like inviting other YouTube was onto videos possible. Thank you very much and each and every one of you are lovely and fantastic sausages. But if you're sat there and wondering what video would you like to watch next then look no further than this one on screen now. It's been handpicked by myself to be right up your alley. And hey, maybe if you're new here you haven't subscribed, now's probably your best time to do it as we'd absolutely love to have you in the community. I'll tell you what, a special offer. If this is your first time subscribing for us, the Queen herself will dispatch one single tea bag to your house. That's right, one individual and single tea bag just for you. Anyway, I've been the Spiffing Brit and I'll see all of you in the next one. Have an absolutely lovely day and goodbye for now.